look at this. Uh, we wonder what the hell we do and come out with the flash like the airflow system. Um, you go back to the roots of F12, all the way back to GL7. The goal of that system was delivering portable productivity and it was delivering uh, streamlining power solutions for anyone. So it wasn't just getting all battery modules up to one thing, but it was also replacing outbound cells, it was replacing the battery products, it was replacing quarter products as well. This does just that. You're not going to find a higher performing flashlight that runs off a battery that powers seven other tools. It's easily, easily removable and replaceable, and then recharged in 30 minutes. If you look at the other tactical side of the market, with high end lighting, uh, their lithium based products are charging at three hours on the high side, the fast side, and up to six to eight to 10 hours because they don't have the competency lithium that we do, and the commitment to overdriving technology, which is that. So, this thing in the portable productivity side of things kicks out up to 800 lumens of output. So, a ton of light. This is the highest powered single LED flashlight you're going to find on any power tool system out in the world today. It's eight times stronger than the standard M12 work light that a lot of you are probably not with, have uh, used. And this is eight times stronger than that. It's over 10 times stronger than anything that any of our competitors are kicking off from a simple flashlight perspective. One of the really cool things about it is instead of just making a flashlight that has this nice wide flood beam that gives you all the space, uh, air illumination and space like this you might need, most people pick up a flashlight, they want to change the beam, you start twisting it, right? This doesn't really twist because you can just slide the head forward like that with your thumb. Instead, because of our optic design, you go through this nice tube of light that you can see here. And with this, you have up to 325 yards of beam distance. So, 800 lumens of output, 325 yards of beam distance. This has a ton of output for anyone who's in an MRO trade, a service trade, any of your readers who need a flashlight, not just on site, but probably off site as well. We did find uh, every one of us for our field testing that all the lights we sent out to be used on job sites happen to find their way into work vans and trucks, find their way home and find their way used. So, Ryan, we had the pleasure of being lunch together. We'll pick on you a little bit. You said you've got a hobby for him. Uh, do you have any lights stashed around the area to see where you're going tonight? Tons. Tons, right? Uh, what do you power this with today? What's that? What, what kind of battery do you run this off of? Most of them are just the little flipping batteries. Okay, so replaceable? Yeah. Okay. Consumable? Yeah. Not rechargeable? No. Uh, this is going to change the game for anyone who's looking for a light that's rechargeable, that's powerful <laughs> enough, that's versatile enough to handle it. Uh, the other thing that's pretty unique about this is not just the shape of it, which I'm going to assure you, we need a lot of ergonomic studies, so it looks pretty weird, but it gives you multiple grip attachments. Let me turn this off for a second to show you. Overhead, um, which in a number of ways, a handful of over here if you guys want to get your hands on it in a minute. But the other cool thing about it is it's the first M12 tool that's built entirely out of aircraft aluminum. So it's a 6000 series aircraft grade aluminum with a Type 2 anodized finish. Uh, that might not mean a whole lot to many of you, but let me show you just one of the uh, less intelligent things that we found you can do with this product along the way as far as finding just that. I mean, we have dropped this thing, we have thrown it, we have chucked it across the place, I've driven nails with it, uh, and I can assure you it stands up. We don't recommend doing any of that with your flashlight, we recommend choosing it to see where the hell you're going, but uh, rest assured, if any of your readers are looking for the toughest flashlight they're going to find that runs on the battery, that gives them access to the entire system of F12, this is the right light bulb. So this thing is launching in about two weeks, or shipping in about two weeks, I should say. Uh, we're going to have not just a bear tool, but also a kit as well. So if anyone does want to enter into the M12 system on a prime product like this, they're going to have the ability to do it. So the last little piece we have for you here is the shower, which you might be wondering why we have a shower next to me. Now, a lot of us talked about uh, IP ratings today, ingress protection, international uh, standard to how to measure how something's water resistance. This is going to show the five represents dust, like your brother there. Uh, the four is your measure of water. So what this really is, is not just splash proof, but it's like rain proof. Um, this is a simulation of that test that you get. So every one of the products you've seen today, every one of the lights on our line can, sur uh, can survive this kind of testing for a sustained period of time. Because we know it's not if it's wet. Water, water is going to get on a job site or into any of the recreational areas that any of these products are going to find their way. That battery. You can run it this for a while. So does anyone have any questions about this flashlight or anything else? 99 bear, 149. Yeah, absolutely. This is an incremental skew for us. Another option for anyone with parcel of lighting. Alright, so I think it works out approaching time. We've got a lot. 
Photography a little bit easier for the rest of you. Oh. 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 Oh.